After studying this module, you shall be able to know what is modus operandi, what are the different types of modus operandi adopted by cyber criminals, what is the methodology involved behind each factor, what is the severity of damage caused by them. Now, modus operandi of cyber criminals. In general, modus operandi is the method acquired by any criminal for the successful commission of a crime. At a minimum, every modus operandi will contain three basic elements, namely, first is ensure success of the crime, protect identity and facilitate effective escape. There are various modus operandi usually adopted by cyber criminals for the successful commission of their crime. Common forms of them are described in this module. First is sending annoying messages. With the advent of technology and globalization, smartphones and computers have become very handy. But each and every coin is two-faced. The beneficiary side of technology is better communication, time harvesting and many more. But at the same time, often people are exploited by other by sending annoying and harassing messages either in the form of text which means SMS in the form of multimedia content means MMS. Now the text messages. The text messages are annoying, insulting, misleading, defaming messages are often sent using mobile phones. Hence the actual source could not be fixed. Such messages are often a cause of misperception among people of different race, culture and tradition, many a times often resulting in fight or rights. Unaware and innocent people often fall in trap of cyber criminals for SMS of lottery, emails of prize money, false promise of job and false mail for admission in reputed colleges. Frequently, credit card details of the victim along with other credentials are gathered by the cyber criminals by falsely luring them on the grounds of winning a huge amount of money. Multimedia Messaging Multimedia messages often defame the identity of a person are distributed among small groups using mobile phones. Pornography, obscene messages and cyberbullying are becoming very common and very popular for example, Delhi MMS scandal. Obscene videos are often captured in remote places unknowingly of the victim for future exploitation. Now, making offensive calls. Offenders can also harass others by making offensive calls to them and annoying them. Many a times, anonymous calls are used by the criminals as an effective tool in making extortion or threatening call. Females are often harassed by stalkers by this means of communication. Now, the landline or the mobile calls. Landlines having no caller IDs pose a problem for the quick analysis of an incoming call which is an undue advantage to the cyber stalker and cyber bullies etc. Unidentified callers from fake addresses or from someone else phone by line tapping are also a serious threat. Now the web based calls. Calls can be made by spoofing the mobile number using various sites. Such calls are indented to hide the actual location of the caller and any fake or annoying calls are made. Such calls are often used for terrorist activity and for trafficking illegal goods or for any ransom or blackmailing purpose. Now, the overseas calls. Cyber criminals operating from overseas and indulged in forgery are hard to trace without the cooperation of international agencies. ISD calls are prevalent in spreading obscenity in terms of pleasure calls which are in actual recorded messages intended for financial trap by asking vital financial information of the caller. Now, the data theft. Data theft stands for the alteration of form of data by entering, suppressing or 
corrupting the original data by uncirculars means so as to gain undue advantage. These can be done in various forms such as data diddling. It involves changing data with malicious intent during or before processing into the computer. Next is data leakage. It pertains to illegally copying the master file information from a computer for ransom, blackmailing or for any other fraudulent purpose. Now next data spying. It refers to assessing the files or digital data from a remote location by using legitimate password or cracking the password. This data is then sold to others for a profit. Next is scavenging. It refers to obtaining and rescuing the information which have been left over processing in or around the computer system. Now the identity theft. It involves stealing the identity of a person by dishonest use of someone's electronic signature, password or any other unique identifying feature. It includes credit card frauds, online share trading scams, e-banking crimes, fraudulent transactions, etc. Next is intellectual property theft. It involves the duplicating the original and genuine work of a person without his proper consent and without any accreditation to him. In this patent and copyright infringement. This is a traditional type of intellectual property theft where one produces copied material or processes from another for profit. Next is software piracy. One gets a copy of original software and duplicates it for the purpose of selling it for a profit. Next is reseller piracy. Original hardwares are sold with a pirated property. Now the financial attack. Offenders often clones the web page of a bank or any other organization or social site in the name of enhancing their security or updating their services or creating a fake web page in the place of genuine which is a look alike page of original in order to collect personal information at various stages and abuses the information for causing wrongful loss, fraudulent transfer of funds in internet banking. These can be operated in following ways. The first one is spoofing. Spoofing of sites normally happens in banks official page with an intention of financial fraud. Other sites are spoofed either for personal pressure or misleading the audience or for causing embarrassment to a particular group of people. Next is phishing. This involves creating a fake page which is very similar to the genuine page for secretly capturing the credentials of the victim. Next is online fraud. This is the next step after phishing or spoofing. Once the culprit gets the valuable credentials of the victim, he can use it for online shopping like e-banking etc. Now online gambling. This is much worse than real life gambling as such pages are deliberately made to lure the victim and fall a prey to the tricks of a cyber criminal or expert causing them to lose a good amount of wealth. Next is cyber laundering. Black money is transformed into white money through various portals of online gambling or online shopping. Now web page hacking. Hacking can be termed as unauthorized access to any electronic media of communication. In this method the genuine page of a website is mutilated by altering the content of the file and appearance causing the embarrassment to any reputed firm and may lead to denial of service causing a heavy loss. This can be achieved through the following ways. In this, the first is web jacking. This is another phishing technique that can be used along with social engineering. Attackers create a fake website and when the victim opens the link, a page appears with a message that the website has moved and they need to click another link. If the victim clicks the link that looks 
real he will redirect to a fake page now next is click jacking click jacking occurs when a scam artist or cyber expert places an invisible button or other user interference element over top of a seemingly innocent web page button or interface element using a transparency layer which one can't see in other words it can also be defined as altering the proper functioning of any key and harassing the victim for example the functioning of right mouse button can be interchanged with delete command now the next is cyber bullying it refers to bullying of one person by another person over a digital media on the condition of any data that is significant and valuable to him or just for the purpose of harassing the victim and gain pleasure from it now next is cyber stalking it is the use of the internet or other electronic means to stalk someone this term is interchangeably used with the online harassment or online abuse next is do's and de do's attack it involves flooding a computer system with more requests than it can handle at a time leading to system crash now next is cross site script an attacker can use cross site scripting technique to implement malicious script into a server which is then sent to unsuspecting users accessing the same server next is espionage cyber espionage is the act of obtaining personal sensitive property or classified information generally in corporate sectors without permission for this purpose especially professionals or hackers are hired email based attacks long gone are the days of letters postcard etc in today's era of technology these past methods of communication is being replaced with the emails which are more fast reliable easily accessible anywhere and convenient but with all these good points it also has a few bad points these effective tools of communication are used by the people of malicious minds to harass someone or crash their system or make them lose their valuable data in this email bombing cyber activist has specially designed softwares to send mails to a specific person email address and it results in potential shutdown of the entire system next is the spam spam is the exploitation of electronic messaging system to spend spontaneous bulk messages indiscriminately it can lead to the improper functioning of the system or even lead to the crashing of system sometimes causing the loss of data next is malware attacks malware is software designed to infiltrate or damage a computer system without the knowledge of the owner it includes virus it stands for vital information and resource under siege it works on a host file and either replicates itself or cause improper functioning of the system next is rat it stands for remotely access tool this software is designed to remotely control the system without even the prior knowledge of the victim next is worms these are the softwares which goes on the replicating itself until the whole system memory is consumed but unlike virus it does not need a host file next is spyware these are the softwares used to spy on the victim's computer and his activities remotely next is back doors these are specially designed softwares or codes of programming that give an access by bypass the security features of the computer next is key loggers these are the softwares which record the strokes made on the keyboard by the victim next is social engineering this is neither a virus nor a malicious line of coding but it is just a trick which lures people into relieving their password and other valuable credentials by making them false stories or by taking them under confidence next obscenity and child pornography it involves the spreading of obscenes and 
nude or semi nude pictures and videos resulting in social harassment and sometimes be the sole reason behind the death of the victim especially females modus operandi is the method adopted by the criminals for the successful commission of his crime the main objective of modus operandi is successful commission of crime concealing the identity of the culprit and effective escape palm from law in case of being caught technology is double edged sword which has bettered our way of living by effective means of communication but along with it it has made us prone to new and effective means of fraud